Welcome to Cat Cosmetics. I'm Sheila McKenna and I'll be showing you how to take your airbrush apart and put it back together again. But before I do that, I'd like to explain all of the little parts that come with the airbrush when you purchase it. So when you receive your transformer airbrush, you'll notice that it comes with a set of airbrush cleaning brushes. We sell these individually as well. This is the airbrush. This is the wrench that you'll need to remove the nozzle. And this is the part that you should use if you want to switch your airbrush from a dual action to a single action. It's pretty simple. Unscrew that piece and screw this one in. So if you're having trouble controlling it as a dual action, just make it a single. I'm going to switch it back to the dual action. This allows me to have more artistic flexibility. It plunges and I'm ready to airbrush. So now, let's start by taking it apart from the back end and working our way to the front end. So this is the handle. Handle comes off first. This is the needle. It goes directly through the airbrush out the front end. So I am going to loosen the chuck nut, pull the needle out, and tighten my chuck nut so these parts don't separate. Then I remove this inner piece that unscrews quite a bit. See, it holds the lever in place. Now the lever is loose. And then you have to wiggle it a little bit. You don't want to be too forceful, but you need to get that little piece out. And there's the lever. Now I need to start working on the front end. This is the nozzle, the needle cap. It protects the needle. This is the nozzle cap. It protects the nozzle. And there it is, right there. So this is the culprit when you have product that's clogging. And this is what needs to either be replaced or cleaned. And if you need to replace it, the replacement part is also only $10. The wrench takes it off. And now you're ready to use your airbrush cleaning brush in the front end. It goes through the cup and all the way through to the back. So if you're using hydro foundation, you want to use water in the bowl to clean it out. And if you're using hydro proof, you want to use hydro proof cleaner to clean it out. Once you've got all the product out, you start on the front end and you work your way back. So this was the last thing that we took off. So I'll get started with it like that. And then you need to tighten it with the wrench. It has a flat side, so you have to play with it to find the flat side. And then tighten it firmly, but just don't make it too tight. This is the nozzle cap, protecting the nozzle. And this is the needle cap protecting the needle. And now that I've got the front end in place, I can work my way back. So I have to get this lever back in. And as you can see, it has a T-bar and it doesn't fit in. So I have to turn the lever sideways and I have to find that plunger. There's a little plunger inside that this needs to live on top of. So I turn it sideways and then I need to feel the ridge and find the plunger. And I'm in. So I hold it in place and then I go back to this part. This has to live behind the lever. So we want it to lean forward, go in through the back, and then screw it back in till it stops. So keep going. This, this goes for a little farther than you expect it to. Alrighty, that's in place. Lastly, we have to put our needle in, so we need to loosen our chuck nut. Push the needle in until it stops and tighten the chuck nut. Put your handle on and you're all ready to go. Now there might be a couple of reasons why your makeup isn't spraying out of the airbrush. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what some of the troubleshooting things are that you might want to know. First of all, 
if you start airbrushing and there's no product coming out, it could be because the needle is not pulling back. So the first thing I always do is take the handle off and make sure that that chuck nut is tight. When I pull this needle back, the lever back, the needle should move. If that chuck nut is loose and the needle doesn't move, it means that it's preventing the makeup from coming out. So always take the handle off, loosen the chuck nut, pull the needle out, push it back in again so it's totally forward, tighten your chuck nut, and see if that will enable the product to come out. Another thing that can prevent the product from coming out is that your nozzle is clogged. And I just showed you how to replace your nozzle. By taking off the front end, you'll see that the needle comes through the front of the nozzle. And if that little part is clogged, you can simply replace it and start airbrushing again. But all of these parts need to be tight in order for the airbrush to work properly. I'll show you how to back bubble to remove excess product inside of a dirty airbrush. This is water that I'm using to clean hydro foundation. It's a dual action airbrush, so I have to push down on the lever for the air and pull back on the lever for the product but I want to loosen up what's inside the bowl here. So I have to prevent the product from coming out of the front end and pull my finger back gently. And that will agitate the makeup that's in the bowl. And then spray it out of the front end. I can dump it, clean it out a little bit, and do that maybe two or three times until the water runs clear. If you're using hydroproof makeup, you'll need to do this with hydroproof cleaner. And I'll do that one more time. I like to move the lever forward and backwards just to loosen up anything that might be stuck inside here. So I don't have to use the brush cleaning kit every single time. But you might want to do this deep cleaning once a week if you're using hydro foundation and each time that you're finished using hydroproof makeup. I can even use this to loosen it up off the sides as well. In order to clean out the tip, you need to pull the lever back so the needle is retracted into the body of the airbrush and you can use a tissue or a Q-tip, but you need to make sure that you pull the needle back before you go into the needle cap to clean it out. And that's how you clean your airbrush. I hope this was helpful. And for more information on Ket products, visit KetCosmetics.com. Thank you.